Imagine a colossal underwater force capable of turning the tides of global power, a force residing in the depths of the ocean. Ready to unleash unparalleled destruction, these behemoth vessels, stretching 170 meters in length, house an arsenal that could reshape the world order. A full salvo from this underwater titan could rain down up to 192 atomic warheads in less than a minute, wiping 24 cities off the map. Our focus today is the Ohio-class submarine, the juggernaut of the U.S. Navy, and a potential harbinger of catastrophic proportions. Stay tuned for an eye-opening exploration into this submerged giant's depths and role in global security. A formidable player in the geopolitical theater of the Middle East has silently entered the stage, the U.S.-Ohio-class submarine. Tasked with a critical mission to monitor and deter the involvement of other nations in the Israel-Hamas conflict, this nuclear-powered sentinel has positioned itself as a vital instrument in maintaining regional stability. The U.S. Central Command, responsible for orchestrating military operations in the Middle East, made an unusual public announcement on November 5th, confirming the presence of an Ohio-class submarine in its designated area of responsibility. This disclosure, delivered succinctly through social media channels, underscores the gravity of the submarine's role in the ongoing geopolitical dynamics of the region. The genesis of the Ohio-class submarines traces back to the Cold War era, a response to the evolving challenges of global geopolitics. The inaugural vessel, USS Ohio, SSBN 726, embarked on its maiden voyage in 1981, heralding a new epoch in submarine technology. Conceived initially as ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs, armed with Trident missiles, the adaptability of these vessels later led to their conversion into guided missile submarines, SSGNs. The Ohio-class submarines boast dimensions that command respect, a length surpassing 560 feet, and a submerged displacement of approximately 18,750 tons. These dimensions categorize them as the largest submarines ever commissioned by the U.S. Navy, securing their position as the third largest globally. Powered by a formidable nuclear reactor, these submarines exhibit unparalleled endurance and operational range. Their ability to remain submerged for extended periods positions them as silent sentinels, capable of executing a diverse array of missions with utmost precision. In their ballistic missile configuration, SSBN, Ohio-class submarines house Trident ballistic missiles, a linchpin in the United States nuclear triad. Transitioning to their guided missile role, SSGN, they become a versatile force capable of deploying an extensive range of guided missiles and special operations forces. The nuclear triad is a multifaceted force structure featuring bomber aircraft, land-based missiles, and ballistic missile submarines, SSBNs. Its primary goal is to deter potential adversaries from launching a first strike attack, ensuring a nation's capability for a second strike, and bolstering nuclear deterrence on a global scale. In this intricate triad, bomber aircraft serve as versatile carriers of nuclear bombs or cruise missiles, providing the flexibility to target both ground and sea-based threats. Complementing this, land-based missiles powered by liquid or solid-fueled rockets traverse ballistic trajectories, covering medium and intercontinental distances. Meanwhile, ballistic missile submarines, the covert underwater giants, are equipped with nuclear missiles for clandestine launches from beneath the ocean's surface. Despite the recognized efficacy of a nuclear triad, its sustained implementation poses financial challenges, limiting its presence to major atomic powers. Only the United States and Russia have consistently maintained robust nuclear triads throughout the atomic age. Turning attention to the submarine leg of the U.S. nuclear triad, the Ohio-class submarines play a pivotal role. With a fleet of 14 submarines, each capable of carrying an impressive 24 Trident II missiles, they represent a potent and resilient force. These submarines, stationed in Kings Bay, Georgia, and Bangor, Washington, adhere to a strategic operational schedule, spending extended periods at sea followed by in-port maintenance intervals to ensure continuous readiness. Moreover, in response to reductions, four SSBNs underwent conversion into SSGNs. These guided missile submarines, armed with conventional Tomahawk cruise missiles, exemplify the ability to adapt to evolving strategic needs. Beyond national borders, 
the Ohio-class submarines contribute to a global naval presence showcasing the United States' commitment to international stability through their ability to covertly navigate the world's oceans. The Ohio-class submarines encapsulate strategic prowess, technological adaptability, and a commitment to global security. As SSBNs, these submarines are pivotal in the nation's nuclear deterrent strategy. Concealed beneath the ocean surface, they provide a credible second strike capability by carrying intercontinental ballistic missiles. Moreover, Ohio-class submarines bring a new dimension to strategic capabilities in their converted SSGN role. Armed with Tomahawk cruise missiles, they possess the ability to engage targets with surgical precision over considerable distances, thereby augmenting the nation's power projection capabilities. The Ohio-class submarine transcends its role as a maritime vessel. It embodies a strategic imperative, a guardian of national interests, and a deterrent force in an ever-evolving geopolitical landscape. In the realm of firepower, the Ohio-class boats are unmatched. Equipped with a formidable arsenal of 20 Trident II missiles each, they stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe, if not superior, to their Russian counterparts, the Bore and the now-retired Typhoon class. This arsenal ensures substantial offensive capability, positioning the Ohio class at the forefront of strategic maritime power. These 14 SSBNs collectively carry approximately half of the active U.S. strategic thermonuclear warheads. The Trident missiles they house without preset targets during patrols can swiftly receive assignments from the United States Strategic Command based in Nebraska. Secure and constant radio communications links, including sophisticated low-frequency systems, facilitate this agility. The USS Ohio, leading the charge, is at the forefront of this maritime force. An interesting note, aside from USS Henry M. Jackson, all Ohio-class submarines bear the names of U.S. states, a departure from the tradition reserved for battleships and cruisers. One standout feature of the Ohio-class submarine is its knack for operating in stealth mode. It's got advanced sonar baffles, a hush-hush propulsion system, and a slick hull that makes it a ghost beneath the waves. This stealth isn't just for show. It's a game-changer for strategic deterrence and sneaky covert operations. Changes on the horizon. The Ohio class is gracefully bowing out to make way for the Columbia class, set to assume its duties from 2031 onward. This succession marks a continuation of the legacy, ensuring a seamless transition to cutting-edge naval capabilities. The Ohio class submarines transcend their physical dimensions. They embody strategic prowess, technological superiority, and an unwavering commitment to safeguarding national security interests. These submarines aren't just patrolling U.S. waters, they're globetrotters. The Ohio-class submarines are a testament to the United States' commitment to a robust and adaptable naval presence. Their ability to silently navigate the world's oceans is more than a cool trick. It's a strategic asset. They contribute to global stability and are ready to respond swiftly to any emerging threats. Have you ever thought about how Ohio-class submarines silently evolved from Trident I to the mightier Trident II, carrying more nuclear firepower with increased accuracy? The Ohio-class submarine, meticulously designed for extended strategic deterrent patrols, operates with a unique operational structure. Each submarine is entrusted with two complete crews, the Blue Crew and the Gold Crew, alternating during 70- to 90-day deterrent patrols. This dual crew system ensures a continuous and seamless presence, minimizing replenishment and crew turnover downtime. The Ohio-class submarines feature three large logistics hatches to enhance efficiency and reduce the time spent in port. These hatches, designed for large diameter resupply and repair access, facilitate the swift transfer of supply pallets, equipment modules, and machinery components. This streamlined replenishment process significantly accelerates maintenance procedures, contributing to the submarine's operational agility. The stealth capability of the Ohio-class submarines represents a significant leap forward compared to their predecessors. During the 1982 sea trials, Ohio demonstrated virtually undetectable characteristics, marking a substantial advancement in naval technology. This enhanced stealth capability gives the U.S. Navy unprecedented flexibility in its operations. The design of the Ohio class allows each submarine to operate for approximately 15 years between major overhauls, emphasizing durability and longevity. Reports suggest that these submarines maintain exceptional quietness even at their cruising speed of 20 knots or more, surpassing the stealth capabilities of the previous Lafayette class submarines at much lower speeds of 6 knots. 
While precise details remain classified, this underscores the Ohio-class submarine's commitment to staying undetected during their operations. The construction process of the Ohio-class submarines involves assembling sections of the hull, each foredeck section measuring 42 feet in diameter. The General Dynamics Electric Boat Facility at Quonset Point, Rhode Island, played a pivotal role in producing these sections, which were then meticulously assembled at the shipyard in Groton, Connecticut. This construction approach ensures structural integrity and precision, which are essential for submarines operating in diverse and challenging maritime environments. While two classes of Russian Navy submarines, the Soviet-designed Typhoon class and the Russian Federation's Borai class, exceed them in total displacement, the Ohio class surpasses the number of missiles and warheads carried. With an impressive arsenal of 24 Trident missiles per boat, they outstrip the Borai class, 16 missiles for the original, 20 for the Borei II, and the Typhoon class, 20 missiles. This combination of size and firepower underscores their dominance in the underwater strategic landscape. These submarines, known as Trident submarines, constitute the sea-based leg of the U.S. strategic nuclear weapons arsenal. There are four SSGNs, cruise missile submarines, each capable of carrying 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles, equipped with either conventional or nuclear warheads, and harpoon missiles deployable through their torpedo tubes. This diverse fleet positions the Ohio class as a cornerstone of the U.S. Navy's nuclear triad, equipped to fulfill strategic roles in both conventional and nuclear capacities. The UGM-133 at Trident II, known as Trident D-5, is a formidable submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, manufactured by Lockheed Martin Space in Sunnyvale, California. Deployed by the United States and the Royal Navy, this potent missile system has been in service since its initial deployment in March 1990. It continues to play a vital role in strategic defense. The Trident II strategic weapon system significantly improved over its predecessor, the Trident C-4, boasting enhanced accuracy, payload capacity, and range. As a cornerstone of the U.S. strategic nuclear triad, the Trident II reinforces the nation's strategic deterrence capabilities. Its durability as a sea-based system makes it adept at engaging multiple targets, and its payload flexibility accommodates various treaty requirements, including those outlined in the New START Agreement. The increased payload of the Trident II allows for nuclear deterrence with fewer submarines, while its remarkable accuracy, comparable to land-based missiles, positions it as a versatile first-strike weapon. Since the completion of its design in 1989, there have been 177 successful test flights of the D-5 missile, with the most recent test conducted from USS Maine, SSBN-741, in February 2020. Notably, the D-5 has demonstrated a high success rate, with fewer than 10 test flights failing, the latest recorded in June 2016 from HMS Vengeance off the coast of Florida. Currently, Trident second missiles are carried by 14 U.S. Ohio-class submarines. Each Ohio-class submarine is armed with 24 missiles, with plans to reduce this number to 20 starting in 2023, aligning with the new Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty. These 14 Trident II SSBNs collectively deliver approximately half of the total active inventory of U.S. strategic thermonuclear warheads. The deployment of these warheads in the world's oceans follows unpredictable and classified patterns always adhering to maximum limits set by various strategic arms reduction treaties. During patrols, Trident missiles aboard these submarines have no preset targets. Still, the warships can swiftly receive assignments through secure and constant radio communications links, including shallow frequency VLF, systems. This underscores the continuous advancements in sea-based deterrent technology over the past 60 years, with the Trident D-5 standing as the sixth generation in this storied lineage. Can you imagine the catastrophic power of unleashing 192 nuclear warheads, each with a staggering reach of over 7,000 miles in a hypothetical full salvo launch? What would the consequences be? These 170-meter-long vessels are potential harbingers of destruction. Each can carry 24 Trident II submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs, fired underwater to strike targets over 7,000 miles away. The Trident II, re-entering the atmosphere at speeds up to Mach 24, splits into up to eight independent re-entry vehicles, each armed with a 100 or 475 kiloton nuclear warhead. 
In less than one minute, a full salvo from an Ohio-class submarine could unleash up to 192 atomic warheads, erasing 24 cities from the map. It's a nightmarish vision of an apocalyptic weapon. The Typhoon-class submarine is the closest competitor to the Ohio-class, a larger vessel with 20 ballistic missile launch tubes. However, various nations, including China, Russia, India, England, and France, operate multiple ballistic missile submarines with different missile armaments. Even a few such submarines could suffice to annihilate significant cities in a developed nation. The logic behind such monstrous nation-destroying weaponry lies in nuclear deterrence. While a first strike might eliminate a country's land-based missiles and nuclear bombers, tracking a ballistic missile submarine quietly patrolling the ocean depths is challenging. There's little hope of neutralizing them all in a first strike. Thus, ballistic missile submarines promise an unstoppable hand of nuclear retribution, deterring any rational adversary from attempting a first strike or resorting to nuclear weapons at all. At least that's the hope. The Trident-armed Ohio-class submarines would have succeeded in their mission if they never had to deploy their weapons in anger. For example, China's A2-AD zones might seem tough to crack, but the United States has a few tricks up its sleeve. According to the Playbook of Modern Wars, the U.S. has a knack for decimating enemies without even stepping into the A2-AD zone, just like what happened in Iraq back in 1990. With strategic depth in Asia, the U.S. military can strategically position itself at different locations, ready to strike. Now, picture this. 59 Ohio-class submarines cruising smoothly in the adversary's A2-AD zone near the shore, ready to unleash havoc on targets far inland. Imagine the collective power of four Ohio-class submarines armed with a whopping 616 BGM-109 Tomahawk cruise missiles. It's a recipe for obliterating China's military might. But wait, there's more. The inexperienced Plan AC group won't stand a chance against the long-range anti-ship missiles. Lorazim, Tomahawks, and Mark 48 Mod 7 torpedoes. These deadly weapons will be launched from USS Key West, USS Oklahoma City, USS Topeka, and USS Asheville submarines stationed in Guam. It's like a high-stakes underwater showdown, and the U.S. submarines are armed to the teeth. When it comes to countering China's A2-AD strategies, the United States has the upper hand with its potent combination of strategic positioning and a devastating array of naval firepower. It's a game of military chess, and right now, the U.S. submarines are making some strategic moves that could checkmate China's military ambitions. A boomer would likely receive firing orders via very low-frequency radio transmission in a nuclear exchange. While a submarine's missiles aren't pre-targeted like those in fixed silos, they can be assigned coordinates rapidly. Nine boomers are based in Bangor, Washington, patrolling the Pacific Ocean, while five are stationed in Kings Bay, Georgia, for operations in the Atlantic. The end of the Cold War and the Strategic Arms Reduction Treaty led to the downsizing of U.S. nuclear forces. Instead of retiring some of the oldest boats, the Navy refuted four 18 Ohio-class subs as cruise missile carriers for conventional attacks, starting with the USS Ohio. Under the New START Treaty, active Ohio-class subs are limited to 12 at a time, each carrying 20 Trident IIs. Two more submarines remain in overhaul, maintaining a total of 240 missiles with 1,090 warheads between them, still more than sufficient to wreak havoc on a global scale multiple times over. Have you ever wondered how their stealth and second strike capability contribute to the nation's defense strategy? The Ohio-class submarines are like the silent guardians of the deep, crucial in deterring potential threats against the United States. Their superpower? remaining hidden and practically invisible in the vast expanses of the ocean. They have a cloak of invisibility that makes them almost impossible to detect. Once these submarines dive beneath the surface, they become masters of stealth, rarely appearing for months-long patrols. It's like they disappear into the ocean, and that's precisely what makes them so effective. The less they're seen, the more powerful they become as deterrence. It's like having a superhero that no one knows about until they're needed. Imagine this submarine as the ultimate hide-and-seek champion. Once underwater, it's game over for anyone trying to find it. This incredible ability to stay hidden makes it a reliable and constant part of the nation's defense strategy. It's always there, quietly watching and ready to respond if needed. The Ohio-class submarines are like the silent guardians that ensure our safety, lurking beneath the surface and prepared to protect. The Ohio-class submarines are like the stealthy guardians of the deep, 
keeping their location shrouded in secrecy for maximum effectiveness. Even top military brass remains in the dark about where exactly these submarines are. This high level of confidentiality is a privilege reserved for the senior leaders of the submarine, highlighting the critical need for operational discretion. The crew undergoes regular training, preparing for scenarios involving the launch of nuclear-armed missiles in response to a strategic attack. These exercises are filled with redundancies to ensure the reliability of a presidential order to launch missiles, emphasizing the gravity and responsibility associated with such actions. Imagine the SSBNs as the masters of stealth, operating as an undetectable launch platform for intercontinental missiles. Their mission is precise, delivering nuclear warheads with surgical accuracy. These submarines are crucial in the U.S. nuclear triad, working alongside land-based intercontinental ballistic missiles, ICBMs, and long-range bombers. Their primary task? Extended deterrent patrols silently overseeing the sea armed with submarine-launched ballistic missiles, SLBMs. Their mission is crystal clear to ensure nobody even thinks about launching a nuclear attack on the U.S. The SSBNs act as an insurance policy, guaranteeing the U.S. has the firepower for a second strike. Who's calling the shots? It's STRATCOM. Their mission is straightforward, deter strategic attacks and keep the U.S. and its allies safe. STRATCOM commands these submarines and other nuclear forces on land and in the air. Picture this. Some Ohio-class submarines are currently in the Pacific, engaged in nuclear deterrent patrols. Last year, nine of them were patrolling the Pacific, while five were on watch in the Atlantic. Their home ports are in Georgia and Washington. Initially designed to launch Trident YC-4 ballistic missiles, all Ohio-class submarines now carry the superior Trident 2 D-5 ballistic missile. This upgrade provides 50% greater range and precision for accurate strikes, transforming them into a formidable first-strike weapon. The show's star is the Trident II D-5 submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM. Picture it as a highly advanced missile with a three-stage structure powered by solid fuel, boasting an impressive range of 4,000 nautical miles. It's versatile, capable of carrying multiple warheads, and launched with a sophisticated process involving expanding gas and a boost phase upon breaching the waterline. Initially designed for a 25-year lifespan, the Trident II's WS has proven its reliability and accuracy. A life extension was introduced for the D-5LE missiles in 2017 to address aging and obsolescence concerns. The Trident D-5 boasts impressive specifications, featuring a range of 12,000 kilometers and a payload capacity of 2,800 kilograms. Equipped with a post-boost vehicle, PBV, it can accommodate up to 12 re-entry vehicles, RVs. These RVs can carry either the MK-4 with a W76-100KT yield warhead or the MK-5 with a W88-475 Kate yield warhead. This makes the Trident D-5 the first U.S. submarine-based missile capable of targeting hardened structures. Its inertial navigation system, combined with a stellar reference system, ensures an accuracy of 90 MCEP, akin to a precision instrument in the vast oceanic expanse. The Trident D-5 is poised for deployment on the Navy's forthcoming Columbia-class submarine, set to enter service in the early 2030 AS. The Navy's plan includes deploying 12 Columbia-class submarines, each armed with 16 Trident D-5 missiles neatly arranged in four quad packs. Reflecting on history, the submarine-launched ballistic missile, SLBM, has been a cornerstone of the United States' strategic nuclear deterrent triad since 1956. Progressing through various generations such as Polaris, A1, Polaris, A2, Polaris, A3, Poseidon, C3, Trident 1, C4, and culminating in the Trident 2, D5. Each upgrade brought advancements in range, payload, and accuracy. This continual evolution ensures the SLBM remains a robust and indispensable component of the nation's defense, providing a reliable second strike capability under the command of the highest authorities. The core of nuclear deterrence lies in the challenge of tracking ballistic missile submarines silently patrolling the ocean's depths. The strategic advantage arises from the near impossibility of neutralizing all these submarines in a first strike, making them a potent instrument for assured nuclear retaliation. The implicit message is crystal clear. Attempting a first strike or resorting to nuclear weapons would invite unstoppable nuclear retribution, dissuading any rational adversary from such actions. The Ohio-class submarines armed with Trident missiles fulfill their mission triumphantly if they never have to unleash their weapons aggressively. Their primary purpose is to maintain a low profile, rendering them challenging to detect and track. Their role isn't to hunt enemy ships or submarines, but rather to remain stealthy, 
denying adversaries any means of monitoring their movements. Thanks to the nuclear reactor on board, these submarines boast nearly unlimited underwater endurance and can sustain cruising speeds of 20 knots, 23 miles per hour, while generating minimal noise. Besides their nuclear payload, Ohio-class submarines pack four 21-inch tubes capable of launching Mark 48 torpedoes. However, these torpedoes are mostly reserved for self-defense, aimed at boosting the submarine's survivability rather than actively engaging in offensive operations against enemy vessels. Crafted to detonate beneath the keel of a surface ship, the Mark 48 aims to disrupt the vessel's structural integrity by breaking the keel. In case of a miss, the torpedo is adaptable for another attempt. This multifaceted defensive capability complements the primary mission of Ohio-class submarines, which is to maintain strategic deterrence through their stealth and resilience. It's a delicate dance of strategic balance beneath the ocean's surface. Ever wondered how Ohio-class submarines, now armed with Tomahawk missiles, are reshaping the strategic landscape in the Middle East? Stay tuned to find out. An Ohio-class submarine recently arrived in the U.S. 5th Fleet Area of Operations, demonstrating the U.S. Navy's dynamic ability to deter potential adversaries, reassure partners, enhance maritime security, and ensure freedom of navigation. While the specific submarine remains unidentified, it is reported to be one of the four Ohio-class guided missile submarines, SSGNs, originally ballistic missile subs, SSBNs, converted to fire Tomahawk cruise missiles instead of nuclear-tipped ballistic missiles. Each SSGN can carry a substantial payload of 154 Tomahawk cruise missiles, a firepower nearly four times that of the newest attack submarines. The arrival of this powerful vessel in the region sends a clear message to potential adversaries, enhancing the U.S. military presence in the Middle East. The disclosure of their presence serves not only as a deterrent but also as a signal to adversaries that the U.S. is prepared to respond decisively to any significant threat. The Ohio-class SSGNs play a crucial role in maritime security operations within the U.S. Central Command Area of Responsibility, covering approximately 2.5 million square miles, including the Arabian Gulf, Gulf of Oman, North Arabian Sea, Gulf of Aden, and the Red Sea. These submarines deter potential threats and strengthen partner nations' maritime capabilities, promoting regional security and stability. Despite the usual practice of not disclosing the whereabouts of Ohio-class submarines due to security concerns, the announcement emphasizes the strategic importance of the submarine's presence. Its recent transit through the Suez Canal adds an element of surprise and urgency to the deployment, potentially responding to specific regional developments. Four Ohio-class boats were converted into SSGNs in 2008, enhancing their capabilities for conventional land attacks and special operations. For example, the USS Florida, a notable member of the Ohio-class cruise missile submarine fleet, has a rich operational history that underscores its strategic importance in U.S. military operations. The USS Florida was pivotal in maintaining national security through strategic deterrent patrols throughout its operational journey. Having completed 61 strategic deterrent patrols as of November 2002, the submarine earned prestigious accolades, including multiple Battle E awards. One of the USS Florida's significant deployments occurred in 2011 during Operation Odyssey Dawn, a multinational effort to enforce a no-fly zone over Libya. In this historic mission, the submarine fired scores of Tomahawk missiles at Libyan air defense targets, contributing to the prevention of Muammar Gaddafi's air force attacks on rebels. This marked the first combat action for Florida and any other Ohio-class submarine showcasing the adaptability and effectiveness of converted SSGNs in real-world scenarios. The USS Florida's proficiency was further demonstrated in 2010 during a coordinated response to Chinese missile testing in the East China Sea. Alongside two other Ohio-class submarines, the Florida surfaced simultaneously in different locations, showcasing these formidable vessels' strategic reach and capabilities. As of 2023, the USS Florida plays a vital role in geopolitically sensitive regions. Deployed to the Persian Gulf during the Israel-Hamas War, the submarine showcased its enduring relevance and strategic importance in contemporary conflicts. Earlier in the same year, the Navy reported its presence in the Middle East, having navigated through the Suez Canal into the Red Sea. These deployments highlight the Ohio-class submarine's ongoing contributions to maritime security and adaptability to evolving geopolitical challenges. The conversion of Ohio-class submarines represents a strategic shift in naval capabilities, 
The ability to carry Tomahawk missiles and facilitate special operations makes these SSGNs integral components of U.S. military operations. Their unique features, including lockout chambers for special forces insertion, make them versatile assets in conventional and unconventional warfare scenarios. The USS Florida's operational history exemplifies the continuous evolution of naval capabilities, ensuring the U.S. maintains a robust and flexible deterrent force in an ever-changing global landscape. Ohio-class submarines were initially built for big-scale strategic stuff, but now they're like superheroes supporting special operations forces. Picture these subs as massive underwater homes weighing about 18,750 tons when they dive deep. That's huge! And this size means they have plenty of room to host special forces like Navy SEALs and Marine MARSOC teams. They can carry 66 special operators for quick missions. Over 100 can fit in for extended stays. Now these submarines aren't just big, they're smart too. They have special rooms called lockout chambers, where special forces can quietly slip out while the submarine is underwater. Imagine secret doors for special ops. There's also something called a dry deck shelter, DDS, like an extra room attached to the sub. It acts like an airlock, helping special forces get in and out while the sub stays submerged. It's also a handy spot to get ready with gear and vehicles, but it's not just about physical features. These subs are like high-tech communicators. They have advanced systems for talking to the special operations forces in real time. This is crucial for a successful mission, helping everyone stay on the same page and know what's happening. Now think of these subs as stealthy ninjas underwater. They're super quiet and can move around quickly. This stealthiness is vital for sneaky missions, like dropping off or picking up special forces without anyone knowing. So, these subs are like a mix of a superhero base and a ninja hideout ready for anything from big-scale stuff to secret specialized missions.